In this series, we're moving our music library out of iTunes and directly managing it with inside Serato DJ Pro. So part one, we moved all our music out of iTunes straight into Serato DJ Pro and we deleted our iTunes folder from our computer so it no longer exists and we also turned off iTunes with inside Serato DJ Pro. If you haven't seen part one, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description down below so you can go check that out. So now we have all our music within this one folder called iTunes Music Folder. Now, if you're happy with this and you're happy with this kind of organization, then you can click off the video and then carry on your day. But if you're like me and you'd like to have your music a lot more organized, then I suggest you stay tuned. So hopefully in Serato, you're a little bit organized and you have some sort of genre crates. So if you have a look on the left hand side, I've got some genre crates like Garage, UK Funky, Reggae and House. Now I'm assuming that you have something similar in your Serato as well, which is a very good start to get into what we're going to get into next. Now on the left hand side, I'm missing a few genres like R&B, hip hop, etc. But what we're going to do first is create a bunch of smart crates to pull in all those tracks into them specific crates. So what we're going to do is we're gonna create a new crate here called genres. And then inside here, we're gonna create a few smart crates. So if I click this, we're gonna do add rule. We're gonna set one of the rules as genre is R&B. Now if I click save here, if I open up this crate here, you're gonna see all of my R&B tracks in here because all these tracks have the genre R&B. So what we're gonna do is change this crate here and call it R&B and then drag that underneath genres. We're also gonna create another smart crate here called genre is house, click save. And you can see that all my house tracks appear in here as well. Move that into the genres crate and then call that house. So we're gonna do one more and we're gonna call it hip hop. So if I create this crate here, click add rule and then go to genre is all my hip hop tracks have the genre called hip hop, hip hyphen hop forward slash rap. So I'm gonna click save and you can see all my hip hop tracks appear in here. So obviously you're gonna have different tags to me in your music library. So just create the smart crates with the tags that are with inside your library. So I'm gonna move this inside here and call this hip hop. So now we have three genre crates. R&B, house and hip hop. And this is how we're gonna wanna split up our music folders on our computer. So what we're gonna do is head back over to our music folder. And you can obviously see we've got our two Serato folders here and then we've got our iTunes music folder that we created in the previous video. What we're gonna do now is create a new folder here called music folders. Then inside here, we're gonna double click and then we're gonna create three folders, R&B, hip hop and house. So this is how we're gonna split up our music on our computer. So if we head over back to Serato DJ Pro, at the moment, if we go into our R&B smart crate and scroll over to the location, you can see that these tracks are all inside our iTunes music folder. But what we wanna do is get all these files and move them over to our R&B folder that we've just created. Now, obviously we're not gonna do that from here because we're not gonna know what tracks are where with inside this music folder, but we can do it all within Serato DJ Pro. So if I go back to Serato DJ Pro, what I can do is open the files tab here, and then we're gonna navigate over to our music folders folder here and then we're gonna click on our R&B folder. As you can see, nothing is in there. What we can do with all our R&B tracks inside this smart crate is press Command A, which will highlight everything. And then what we can do is pick up all these tracks and drag them over to our R&B folder here. What it's gonna do is gonna come up with this window. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna copy, move, or cancel. Copy will copy all the tracks from your iTunes music folder into this R&B crate, but what that will do, that will create a bunch of duplicates and take up more memory on your computer. What we're gonna do is move the track. So it's gonna pick up all the tracks inside iTunes music folder and then move all the R&B tracks into the R&B folder. What we're also gonna do is tick this tick box here, remove original references from library. So basically once you've moved all the folders, if you click this, it will remove all the references from the iTunes music folder and then replace them all with the reference from the R&B folder. So once we're happy with that, we're gonna click move and it's gonna move all your tracks from the iTunes music folder into your R&B crate. It might take a while depending on how big your R&B folder is. Right, once that's all completed, you can scroll over to the right hand side and you can now see that all these tracks are now inside music folders and then inside R&B. 
If we go over to our desktop and go inside music folders and inside R&B, you can see all of our R&B tracks inside here. Let's do it for the others. So if we go back to Serato, we'll go inside our house folder, we'll highlight all the tracks with command A and we'll pick them all up and drag them over house, remove original references from library and then click move. Right, so the house folder's done. So if I scroll over, you can see all the tracks are now inside music folders and then house. Go over to the finder window, go inside the house folder, and you can see that all the house tracks are inside here. Let's do our last one, which is the hip hop one. So I'm gonna highlight all these tracks, drag them over the hip hop folder, click remove original references from library, and then click move. Right now the hip hop folder is done. Again, scroll over to the right, you can see that everything is inside the hip hop folder. Go over to our finder window, open up the hip hop folder and you can see all of our hip hop tracks are inside there as well. So obviously you're not gonna be able to move over every single track into your music folders today, but over time you're probably gonna go through your library, update some tags. Say for example, you've updated more tags with the genre hip hop, they're gonna appear into this folder here. Then what you can do is just highlight everything and then drag it over the hip hop folder. And then what it will do is anything new that you've added into this folder, it will add it to the hip hop folder on your desktop, but anything that you currently have, it won't add it. So you won't have to worry about any duplicates. So if I just click move now, you can see that it does it really quickly because there's nothing more to add. So obviously if you have other genres like dancehall, Afro beats, pop, commercial, anything like that. You can create the smart crates like we did in this video and then create the folders on your computer and just do the exact same process. Now, you're obviously gonna have music in two places, iTunes music folder and then music folders. Over time, iTunes music folder will slowly get smaller and smaller and then music folders will get bigger and bigger. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add new music into Serato DJ Pro and then also move them into the specific genre folders all within Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next one.